A few months back, Tana stormed onto the PKM scene with a ton of hype as a brand new outliner in the vein of Rome research. But does it live up to the hype? I've gotten access to Tana, and so I want to dive in with you today to see if it does. Let's go. Okay, this is one of the first things that you see when you log into Tana. It's the user interface, and if you've used Rome Research or LogSeq, it's going to look relatively familiar. It's an outliner at the core, and you add bullets to it. So today I'm recording a video on Tana. And that's really it. Now you can click into these bullets like you would in Dynalist or Workflowy. Back out of them. You can expand them right there, right in the outline view if you want to as well. Now one thing that's different about Tana compared to some of these other applications is that you don't add wiki links with the standard wiki link double bracket. You actually use the at symbol. And so if I want to make a note and say I'm thinking about my PKM workflow, then I just use the at symbol, type it out, and then command enter to create that node to the library. Then I can click into that and I can say, January 2023, I'm thinking about expanding the number of apps I'm using from just Obsidian, which is a true thought. Backing up, one of the headlining features of Tana is the super tag. Now, a super tag is basically just a tag that has some superpowers added to it. So I'm going to create a project node here with a tag called project for this video that I'm creating. So then I just use the hashtag and I can say project to create and apply the project. And there it is. Now you can see that this gets a color. So that node is colored the same color as the tag. You can just click off of it here if you don't want it on there anymore. And then on the left-hand side, you can see you get a uh, automatically updated list of project view over here. If you click on it, it opens up in a side pane, which is really quite handy. Now, if I were to add another node in my daily note and say it is going to be uh, create a video on get outline, and I'm going to add project to it, it automatically updates. Now, say I want to categorize these. So this is more PKM related. Uh, this one is more apps. You can see I have these over here. I can just click filter. And if I want to filter my projects down to PKM, I can do that. Makes it really easy. Um, you can adjust the query here as well if you'd like. And so if you wanted to just show your PKM projects, uh, you can add that tag in here and then it will remove all of the ones that don't add up to that and you can see that we have the filters cleared out there i'm going to rename this here and i'm going to say effective pkm projects and that's that so i you have lists of tags over here that pop up if you want to filter by them um, this is a renamed node over here where i can go into that really easily you can group these items you can sort, uh, you can view it as a list, table, or cards, which can be really handy. You can build a Kanban board in this too, if you would like to. A lot of different powerful features that you can leverage inside of Tana in that way. In settings, which is something I really like to look at, uh, under preferences, it's pretty basic here. You can show the sidebar, completed items, enable dark mode or use the system theme, warn when you're editing referenced nodes, show daily tip, show URL embeds, uh, and there's some labs stuff here you can experiment with. You can import from an intermediate format uh, from Rome, Workflowy, or get the documentation. You can invite others to Tana, and then you can install Tana as a uh, progressive web app. One downside of Tana that I've noticed is that at this moment in time, I haven't been able to find a mobile application for, say, iPad or iPhone. Uh, which may or may not be a good thing for uh, some users of the application. So if you need a web app, be mindful of that as you go forward because Tana may not have one right now, even though it may or may not be in the works. Now you can also quick add to this daily note. So if you're somewhere else inside of Tana, 
say if I click here and I want to add something to my daily note, because I think about it, I can hit Command E, and then I can say, oh, quick add one. And then I can hit Enter, and I can add something else. And then I can hit Command E, and then that goes straight into my daily note or daily node inside of Tana. It's nice because you can back out to the calendar and you can see different time scales. So for the year, the week number, uh, and into the day, that's really handy. You can also get into your workspace over here and start to adjust some of the settings. You can change the name of it. You can change the image for it. You can also adjust the schema. The schema is the super tags that are available inside of your Tana workspace. So say if I want to adjust project, I can just click on the hash icon here. I can change the name. I can change the color of the tag. I can add a description and I can template it out. I can add fields like name. and then have a default value for it. And if I want to add a due date, I can do that. So then when I add a project tag to a node, then I can add that information in either with default values or I can add it there. Now, if I'm say using this to track tasks, I can show this as a checkbox. So that can get checked off as completed. I can build the title from the fields if I would like. I can add navigation shortcuts, which you can see over here, and I can have super tags that are child nodes of this tag. That can be really handy. You can also extend. So for example, say you have a person tag that has a bunch of fields to it. You can extend that and say you have a colleague tag or a, another tag for relatives if you wanna track different or additional information than those. So that's a really, Kind of a helpful way to approach super tags. Uh, under library, this is the nodes that you have at referenced from other places inside of your workplace space. So you can see that I have PKM workflow. And at the bottom, you can see all of the references there. So I can click into that if I would like to and get into that specific note to get access to that if I want to get back to it. Settings are actually stored directly in the Tana application. Uh, you can go through user guidance here, welcome to Tana. You can adjust your user preferences here if you don't want to go up to the corner. And then there are options here where you can download as JSON. So let's take a look at this here real quick and see what we get. Apparently I haven't used BB Edit in a really, really long time. And this is your Tana vault and settings added and export it. So you can export from Tana, which is great. And this is something that they say that you can always be able to do. However, as we were looking through that file, it's not exactly human readable. You're gonna have to parse that information using some kind of a script if you wanna import it into LogSeq or Roam Research or Obsidian, some other tool that you're using. It's gonna be a little challenging to do so. While it's completely possible to do, it is a barrier to getting out of the application. So the question that remains is, does Tana live up to the hype? And the jury is out yet for me at this moment in time. While I can see some of the benefit of Tana in comparison to LogSeq and Rome Research, in that super tags really give you the ability to do a lot uh, with that one thing, and it makes it a lot easier to do querying and filtering and adding metadata to specific notes compared to using a YAML front matter inside of Obsidian, for example. It streamlines that workflow. However, does it really set that far above the rest of the pack at this moment in time? And I would say probably not. Tana has an excellent uh, group or person who's doing marketing, and I really have to applaud it to them for targeting the PKM audience that the way that they did. But I would have to say that feature-wise, there's nothing really earth-shattering or groundbreaking. If I were to frame Tana in the PKM workspace, I would say that it is really the next evolution of what Rome Research could have been. It's like the developers of Tana took Rome Research and all the things that they saw failing or missing from it, and they just started over from scratch and said, what could we do better? And that, I think, is a positive evolution in the space. But I don't know if it, at this point, justifies the hype that it has been getting as a tool. 
Additionally, it's totally a software as a service application. And so you're going to have to pay to get access to this likely at some point in the future. I would imagine this is the trend of all these applications. They're businesses and software developers have to make money. I totally get that. But as someone who has lived in a software as a service world for a long time and has been moving more and more things back to local because I've seen software services spin up and die super rapidly, I just don't know if I trust Tana and other cloud-based app applications to be that primary thought workspace, note-taking space that I can come back to five or even 10 years from now. So what do you think? Have you tried out Tana? Have you signed up for the wait list and gotten in and played around with super tags and all that Tana has to offer? I would love to hear more from you about what you're thinking. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. My name is Justin with Effective. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay effective.